we have as many undergraduates with federal Pell Grants, which means family incomes are under $45,000, as all of the eight Ivy League universities combined. This is a remarkable achievement, and it represents the public and inclusive nature of Berkeley more succinctly than any other statistic I might cite. Uh, fall of 1963, Lisa Espinoza. and I, I, I went in and out twice and left on leave of absence. It was very turbulent in the 60s, and I was very much affected by all of the political and social things that were going on, and I didn't know what I wanted to do, and so I left, and then I, I raised a family, and then in 2010 I came back because I wanted to pursue music. And I'm graduating with a, a, a major in interscholastic field and a minor in music. You've also generously volunteered your time to reach out to communities that are underrepresented on our campus and work to help ensure that everyone feels welcome at town. You have helped make us a more equitable and inclusive community. So how are Berkeley graduates unique? independent and self-directed, curious and creative. You are innovators and risk takers. You are boundary breakers. You have a passion to make a difference. You will go out and change the world. You will see these qualities exemplified in your commencement speaker and fellow alumnus, Steve Wozniak. Savior at this age in your life is, is great because fun has got to be a part of your productive life always. You've got to have relief, you've got to joke with your friends and play in little pranks that are harmless or is pretty nice. But you know what, a lot of that misbehavior I spotted in the most creative people in the computer industry that I ever meet. They, they have those emotional memories of the times they played a joke on somebody or smiled or what made them laugh. Um, and that's creative thought. I came up with a formula. H equals um, S minus F. Happiness is what life's about. It doesn't matter how many yachts you have, what your title is, how much money you make, how many awards you got in life. The day you die, if you've been running everything tight, but another person is out on the streets, homeless, smiling, telling jokes, having a fun time, who would you rather be when you die? And I decided I'd rather be the fun person. So H equals S minus F. Happiness equals smiles minus frowns. Easy one. And let me... You will no doubt, sorry to put you on the spot, Steve, make this commencement a memorable one for you. As you leave Cal, I ask two things of you. One, please continue to speak out for and support public universities so that others may have the opportunity for the great education that you have received. Two, please continue Berkeley's proud, proud tradition of public service by volunteering your services to your community. Whether as a tutor to a needy high school student, a big sister to a young girl in an impoverished neighborhood, a member of Teach for America, or the Peace Corps. I hope that you will continue to seek out opportunities to give back to your communities, locally, nationally, and globally. Graduates, this commencement marks a turning point for you. You may not know where or what the future will hold for you, but as you go, know that we will be there with you. We are very proud of you. We are proud that you are joining a community of Cal alums, more than 450,000 strong, all of whom have a common bond, their pride in Berkeley.